didn't know you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm here so with... awkward. Okay. <laughs> My best friend is visiting me in Amsterdam. She lives in Germany. So we're going to have a really exciting week. And I thought that I would show you guys everything that we're going to do. And it's going to be kind of like a guide to visit Amsterdam. Because we're going to do some like touristy stuff. But also some stuff that I usually do. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. So I hope that you will enjoy. We already did a workout this morning. I'm very yes, proud of did. us. <laughs> and... Right now, we're actually going to meet her friends from Brazil. I'm not even going to explain why that's a long story. <laughs> um, so we're going to meet some friends of hers that live in Rotterdam. And they're coming here and we're going to have lunch together. And I'm going to take you guys along with us. So, yeah. It's going to be a really fun and exciting day. Ah! Before we go, we're going to do a little outfit check. This is my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing... These Levi's Five One vintage jeans. This top is by Stradivarius. I'm wearing Birkenstocks, my grandma's blazer, <laughs> and then this little JW pay bag, and these new sunnies that I got. I love the vibe of them, especially with this hairstyle. So, yeah. Anais, what are you wearing? I don't even know. <laughs> I like it though. Show okay, us. Okay, so. I think this is H&M, because mm -hmm. my sister got it for me. This is H&M. <laughs> <laughs> These are Zara, I think. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And my colors. Love it. And now we're going to go outside tonight. <laughs> No, I, I want to be in your vlog. We can kiss on the <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Put on my sofa. I look like an egg. I saw it. I saw it. Hi. And I'll wait for us to land. Still suspended. It's still dark. When I looked over my plans, wasn't there yet. Here we are. You're the break after the bend. How much farther will we fall? How much farther can we fall? What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? What's up you guys? I am back home. My friend is still out with her friends but I decided to come home just because I was feeling kind of tired and I want to save some energy for tonight because we're actually going clubbing tonight. We're going to this club which is called Bitterzoot and it's like my favorite club so far to be honest. But yeah, I also just wanted this moment to catch up with you guys a little because um, you might be confused. But anyways, my friend, her name is Anais. She's like my best friend. We met in Abu Dhabi actually. Um, we were at the same school and she's visiting me now. She's staying here for a week approximately and then we're going to Paris together next week for like a little pre and post birthday trip because her birthday was last week and my birthday is, is next week actually. So yeah, she, she's here right now. She's staying with me and it's just so nice. I'm so happy that she's here. Like she's literally my literally my soulmate. I know this sounds very cliche and cringe but she really is. So I just came back and we actually went to one of my favorite spots here in Amsterdam. It's called Plek. Basically it's just like a little fake beach by the water and it has beautiful views. The atmosphere is really nice and we had lunch there. So if you're ever in Amsterdam I really recommend you to go there. I would recommend you to go for drinks though and like snacks instead of actual lunch because there aren't that many food options and the food was good but it wasn't like exceptional so i really recommend it for drinks and just the vibes there so yeah we went to play and then afterwards we just walked around the city a little bit and then we grabbed some ice cream at one of my favorite ice cream places and it's called ice Scrapy. they have multiple locations here in amsterdam but that's also definitely a good ice cream place if you're looking for that. And I'll catch up with you guys later tonight when we're getting ready for the club. Or I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. But yeah, I really hope that you will enjoy this vlog. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are cutting. Actually, I'm done. She's still getting ready. And um, it's, it's three o'clock, guys. I'm running out. 
<laughs> we were supposed to go to the farmer's market this morning but we went clubbing last night and we slept until 12 o'clock which is really weird like both of us don't really sleep until that late no. but somehow i don't think i ever woke up at 12. really that's like oh my god i think that's the new record <laughs> Um, so somehow we just ended up waking up really late so our plans have kind of changed also the weather has changed too which is really annoying like it was supposed to the sun was supposed to shine today but it's really cloudy and it's gonna rain but the sun is coming out tonight so I'm excited about that anyways clubbing yesterday was it was fun but I it was fine about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was her first time going clubbing and I really hyped her up about this particular club because last time i went i really liked it but yesterday it was just like the people weren't really my vibe and the music also wasn't really my vibe it was fine it was fun but it wasn't like wow yeah exactly. <laughs> so yeah anyway so that's that the farmer's market we wanted to go to is called the northern Markt. by the way i'm gonna put it on the screen so i really recommend you guys to check that farmer's market out because it's really nice but unfortunately we can't go anymore because it's closing in one hour and it just doesn't make sense to go for such a short time and probably everything's going to be sold out so we changed our plans and we're actually going out for lunch right now we're going to this place called factory Gold. it's actually a concept from berlin but they have really good like breakfast brunch food so i it's also really, really recommend you guys to go there Guys, we just finished our lunch at Factory Girl. It was so good. What did you think? It was very nice. Right? It was the perfect combination of eggs and tomato sauce. <laughs> is it, is it, yeah, it's it's tomato. tomato sauce. We had a shakshuka. We shared one because the portions are really big there, by the way. And we also had this pistachio bun, which wasn't that good. It was but disappointing, okay. really. Yeah. Anyways, um, it's raining and the sun is shining. I don't know what's going on. We're going to the Jordan right now and we're just gonna stroll around there because they have really cute shops. The vibes are really cute there and, and the yeah. weather is nice. The weather is nice too. Look at this. It's so pretty out. like a beautiful archway and you can go here for free you guys and it's so beautiful the garden goes all the way around the rice museum bro i don't know how to pronounce it in english <laughs> um but yeah it's really really beautiful Concrete, hand in hand, me and you. I was just young and stupid, thought I was keeping you. Two kids on school, I was concrete, hand in hand, me and you. I was just young and thought I was, thought I was. You ignore me today. Maybe I was wrong thinking you loved me. Broke my heart with bare hands. Well, damn, I'm not going to trust you Best friend First friend Best best friend You are my best friend Best friend You are my first friend Best friend You are my first You are my You gave me love 
Good morning, you guys. We are out. Um, out and about. Out and about. <laughs> we are gonna get some breakfast at a bakery and then sit in the garden that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, it was supposed to rain today, but the weather is actually nice. It's very, it's very surprising. So we're happy <laughs> because we were so sad at first. Um, but yeah, we're just looking for a bakery to get some croissants and then we'll head to the garden. So I drive through the night See your house from the highway way up high Things are so different now I suppose I should get used to letting go Of all I know about your soul so I push on like here. Let me get this. Is this comfortable though? <laughs> We're gonna sit here. We're in the like. Yes, we're in this archway and we got our pastries. We got it doesn't look that good on camera honestly. We got a croissant, a chocolate raspberry croissant, and a chocolate cookie. So let's it's already try it. have eaten. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, we were so hungry. We just took a bite of the chocolate cookie because we okay, couldn't. So I'm gonna keep it for the food. Okay. Look at this. Ah. So, so this has like chocolate and probably like raspberry jam, right? Yeah, I think so. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. It's yummy. But I think I had better one. Yeah. <laughs> the cookie was really good, but this one, I don't know. But I have very high standards for customs as well. Mm. And we're going to Paris in a couple of days, so I know that we're, we're gonna, gonna be in a shop. <laughs> yeah. You guys, I do really recommend you to come here. And you can like bring a coffee or bring some food. And sit. Yeah. The garden is like all around the museum, and there's so many like spots where you can sit. It's beautiful. Especially on a sunny day, it's amazing. So the garden right now and we're gonna go vintage shopping and I'm so excited because we're going in the, not in like the typical area but we're going to the west of Amsterdam because the vintage stores there are so much better in my opinion like it's more organized because the kilo store is new oh god <laughs> I don't want to touch it <laughs> There was like a bug on her like leg like and now I have something in my eye Anyways, in my opinion the vintage stores are so much better Because they have more stuff like in the city center everyone goes there so Like all the good stuff is usually gone And in the west of Amsterdam it's like a typical area for vintage shopping so that's why They still have some good stuff so hopefully we'll be successful today I'm, I'm very curious I'm gonna show her two vintage stores so we're taking the tram right now and then it's only like 15 minutes to get there. We're now at We Are Vintage which is another store and I really like this one so all boobs welcome here <laughs> we're going here now guys to have some lunch it's my favorite salad bar in Amsterdam
How was the food? I'm, I'm like my Anais right now. <laughs> like How was the meal. food? The food was very yummy. As you can see, we I didn't did finish, finish it. It's a lot. But because it's very filling. Yeah, that's true. But it was a very good combo of different tastes. Yeah. Different foods. Yeah. I don't know. It was very good. Geschmacksrichtungen. <laughs> Nice. Approved. Yeah, we're gonna take this home with us and eat it later because we already we had a pretty late breakfast, so we're still very full. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, as you can probably tell. We ended up staying in last night, and we just watched Gossip Girl, and we made chocolate-covered strawberries, which were so good, you guys. Insane. Um, but we didn't really do anything else, so. I didn't end up vlogging, but we just got ready and we're going out right now to head to the city. I really want to do some shopping because I'm looking for some linen pants and some summer clothes overall. So I hope that I'll find at least one thing. And then we're also going to go to this cookie store, which is called Von Stapler. And they have the best cookies in town. You actually, have, most of the times you have to wait in line to actually get the cookie. And they sell out really fast. So I would highly recommend you guys to go in the morning and not like later in the afternoon. They close at 5. But if their cookies are sold out before 5, they will just close the store. So yeah, I'm really hoping that we can still get some. And then we're probably going to have some lunch in the city as well. Get french fries at my favorite french fry place. I've been going there since I've been like a little child. And then we'll see, maybe stop by at a cafe because it's a rainy and cloudy day. So I feel like that's the perfect vibe to sit in a cafe and just chat for hours and hours. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with us. Guys, the cookies were sold out. No, the line was way too long, yeah. so we didn't end up getting cookies. It was insane. It was disappointing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, now we're getting <laughs> now we're getting French fries though. They look so good, you guys. Wow. It's the next day, and we made a charcuterie board. And look how good it looks. We're having it out on my balcony because the sun is shining finally. Came back our last night before we're leaving to Paris so we're, we're doing a little but I know but it's exciting too yeah. <laughs> we're doing a little charcuterie celebration and then tonight we are going out for drinks um, and yeah you guys we just came back from this place we went to it's such a beautiful location it's called bamboa we had some spritzes we saw a beautiful sunset and i really recommend you guys to go to this place it was my first time there but it was a really good vibe and yeah so now i need to pack because i still didn't pack for paris we're leaving tomorrow morning at our train 
leaves at 8 o'clock, so you probably have to leave the house at like 7.30. So, I still need to do some last minute packing because I've been postponing it for a while. I'm a last minute person, as some of you might know, but that's okay. We're gonna manage it anyways, and yeah, I am very excited about Paris, so if you guys want to see that vlog, make sure to subscribe and put on my post notifications so you'll be notified when I upload that vlog. But for now, I just wanted to end up this vlog and say thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know that we didn't do that much, but it's just because like we didn't see each other for a year, so we also took a lot of time catching up and just chilling at the house instead of going out. But I feel like Amsterdam is also the type of city in which you just stroll around the city, go to good cafes and restaurants, and it's... there. I mean, yeah, obviously there are a lot of touristic attractions here, but I feel like in order to really enjoy the city and the vibe of the city is to just stroll around, maybe rent a bike, bike around the city and discover cute places. So that really is my biggest tip. If you want to visit Amsterdam, just try to enjoy the city and check out some neighborhoods. My favorite neighborhoods are the Jordan, the Pipe, and like the city center, I guess. And I would also really recommend you to go to the north of Amsterdam. You can take the ferry, it's for free and it's so beautiful, especially for watching the sunset. Um, and yeah, just sitting by the water, going to some parks. So I really hope that this video helped you guys and that it was a little entertaining. That being said, I'll see you guys in Paris.